Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you an older song. It's by Lifehouse called You and Me. Anna requested this song, so I thought I'd put it up. It's pretty simple. It's in half step down tuning and uses very, very simple chords. So get your guitar tuned and then go ahead and start the video. The first part you're going to learn is the verse and it sounds like this. What day is it? And in what month this clock never seems so light? I can't keep up, I can't back down, I've been losing so much time. So we're using six different chords in this and it sounds like a lot, but it's actually really simple. Um, all you gotta do is have your pinky and your ring finger on the third fret of the E string and B string respectively. And you're gonna use these chords, um, they'll show up somewhere around here. It's going to be G, C at 9, G suspended 2nd, G slash B, E minor 7th, D suspended 4th, and then uh, you do C at 9 again. But it's 6 chords in total. So as you notice, you're only switching where your fingers go um, on the top 4 strings. Um, basically the bass notes is what you're switching. Side note, I got those chord names from the internet, so if they're wrong, my bad. So the strumming pattern for each chord is going to be down, up, down, up, and then you switch chords. We're starting with G, and then you switch to C at 9, it'll sound like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And if you notice, there's a pause in between the first down and then the up, down, up. But that's how you're going to strum each of these chords throughout the entire song. It doesn't switch. So you go from G to C at 9 to G suspended 2nd. So just put your index finger on the second fret of the E string as your bass note, and then um, lightly touch the A string, that way it doesn't ring out. And the rest are uh, open besides the third fret of the E and B string. From there, down, up, down, up, switch to the G slash B, and with this chord, you're just going to put your index finger on the second fret of the A string, and then leave the D and G open, third fret high, E and B strings, and then lightly touch the low E string so that bass note doesn't ring out. And then the next one is actually really simple. So from that G slash B, you go to an E minor 7th. So then you just stop muting the low E string because now you want the bass note to ring out, and you move your middle finger to the second fret of the D string. And then that's the chord. From there, you go to a D suspended 4th, which is just the 2nd fret of the D string, 3rd fret B and high E, open D string, and if you can, uh, wrap your thumb around and lightly touch the E and the A strings, that way they don't ring out. So from that E minor 7th to the D suspended 2nd, and then you go back to C at 9, this one you're going to strum twice. When you strum downwards, go ahead and add a little hammer on. So with the C at 9 chord, start with the D string open, and when you strum down, use your index finger to hammer on at the 2nd fret. And it just adds a little more to it. Now you repeat that whole segment twice, so I'm just going to play through it and follow along if you can. So that's how you play the verse. The next part is going to be the chorus, and it's going to sound like this. Cause it's you and me, and all other people with nothing to do, nothing to lose. And it's you and me, and all other people, and I don't know why, I can't keep my eyes off. So for the chorus, again, the strumming pattern is going to be the same, and you're using almost all of the same chords, just in a different order. You're going to start with the G chord, and again, it's going to be down, up, down, up. And now we're going to introduce a new chord, it's going to be an A suspended fourth. So it's kind of like your D suspended second, but all you're going to do is mute the low E string, A is going to be the bass note, 
and then I use my index finger to bar the second fret of the D and G strings and I keep my pinky and ring finger on the third fret of the E and B strings. That's what the chord should sound like. So from the G to the A suspended fourth, it'll sound like this. Now the next chord you go to is a C add nine, and you hold that for two measures. And again, if you can, try that hammer on the first down strum of each. You hold the C add nine chord for two counts. And then you move to the E minor seventh chord. Back to G. Back to E minor seventh. Then you go to the D suspended fourth. And then you repeat the process again. So if you notice, after the second time around, you go back to that C add 9 chord. Um, and each time you do that, go ahead and do the hammer on um, with the first down strum, but you do that for four counts instead of the normal one that you've been doing. So basically four times play that chord. So altogether the chord should sound like this. to the next verse. Now the last part of the song you're going to learn is the bridge. It's going to sound like this. Something about you now I can't quite figure out Everything she does is beautiful Everything she does is So this one uses a few different chords and a few of the same chords. Um, the ones you're going to be using are going to be B minor, a C major, and then add your pinky to the third fret of the high E string. Then he uses G, G suspended second, E minor seventh, and then we're going to throw in an A minor and a D chord, and then we go back to B minor and then move up to C minor. And all the chords are actually in that order. So the first two chords are held for two measures each, um, so you play each chord twice. And then when you switch to the G and G suspended second, they're held for one count each. Now when you move to the E minor seventh, it's for two counts, making a total of four for that progression. When you switch to that A minor, it's held for two measures each again. So two measures for the A minor and two measures for the D major. And then two more for the B minor. And then four for the C minor. So all together the bridge should sound like this. to play that an extra time but just remember the C minor chord is held for four counts. So now that you've learned all the parts all you have to do is put them together and if it helps at all it's going to go verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus two times and then uh, half of the verse if that makes sense because he just repeats the same line at the end that he did at the beginning. As always guys thank you for watching I always appreciate any feedback any comments suggestions give me those likes and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already if you're new to the channel and this is your first video go ahead and click on some of my other videos you might find a song you like I also take requests so you can do that too and thank you again Anna or Anna I really appreciate the request and I hope you were able to learn something from it and here's some music to listen to while you decide whether or not you want to subscribe or look at another video